it was clear to us that the image of Beachcomber, which has been around for many years now, needed to be modernized, to be made fresher. But at the same time, it was very clear uh, that the name Beachcomber is strong out there in the market, and there was absolutely no reason why the name itself should change. So there's no surprise. Beachcomber remains, and we more Beachcomber than ever. However, as I said, we needed to modernize the image and make it fresher. We wanted to stay with the meaning of Beachcomber. Not many people here in Mauritius know what Beachcomber means. For those of us who speak English regularly know the name. Uh, but for the Francophiles of Mauritius, even though they've been living with Beachcomber around them, uh, not necessarily know what it means. We know that it means the one who walks on the beach and collects what the sea has left behind. So we wanted to keep uh, this element in the new logo, in the new emblem. This is why we've chosen a shell, which we believe obviously is linked to what a beachcomber does, collects the shells on the beach. But why this nautilus that you're seeing in front of you? The nautilus has got this particularity of being not only a beautiful shell, but also one which has got in its design the golden number, uh, which is a perfect balance between length and width, which is this number, in fact, 1.681, which one finds strangely uh, but beautifully in nature, and that a number of architects and artists have through centuries used in designing famous monuments in ancient Greece or in modern Italy. One will find a number of monuments having this perfect balance between length and width, and this golden rule applies also in nature. And if you look at the design which is in front of you, all the squares which one see A, B, C, D, and the larger squares, all that give you, if you do the calculation of this golden number, you will find that this gives you exactly uh, the 1.681 figure. Absolutely incredible. So we chose this notice not only for its beauty, for its relationship and attachment to the Beachcomber name and what Beachcomber means and to the sea and to the beach, which obviously is what Beachcomber stands for the most, but also because it illustrates uh, the perfect design that we want to achieve in our hotels, the perfect attitude in our guests which this golden number translates. Then also, you will notice, if you count, takes a bit of time, in uh, this logo, uh, 52 waves. And this 52 comes from uh, the date of the creation of Beachcomber, which was created in 1952. So we believe it was interesting to have a link uh, to the year in which uh, we created this uh, company, this beautiful company which Beachcomber is today. Just a quick uh, indication of what uh, the different logos of our hotels look like today. As I've said before in my presentation, the Beachcomber name is not, doesn't come across, is not in the forefront enough. We believe that the Beachcomber name is what really cements the various hotels together. And if you look at what we have today, it's in fact a collection of hotels, a collection of logos in which Beachcomber is nowhere to be seen. Each of them individually is a beautiful logo, uh, but we believe that going forward we will need a much stronger presence for the Beachcomber brand, which is why we've changed this logo into what you see in front of you. You will see now that the B Nautil, as we've mentioned it in French, the B Nautilus, uh, that you find on top of each of the names have, has remained everywhere and is now transversal and is present in each of the logos. The previous logos of the hotels have disappeared. We've also kept a different color for each of the hotels in order for them to keep their identity. But maybe more importantly, many of you listening to this uh, message now will know the Paradis, will know the Royal Palm, will know the Trobiche, uh, as much as they know Beachcomber. So that for us, it was uh, absolutely impossible, unthinkable, of removing the hotel names from the new name. We therefore kept in the forefront 
the names of all the hotels. Uh, you will see the Royal Palm, the Gina Robin, the Paradis, all of them staying in the forefront. But will, you will also notice, but not only they share now the Benotti logo, but also they all share the Beachcomber name or the Beachcomber brand in their name. Beachcomber for all of them and Beachcomber luxury for the two Royal Palms, the one in Grand Bay in Mauritius and the Royal Palm Marrakech. On a bigger scale, I think it gives you a better feel of what uh, these various logos look like and the colors attached to each of them. But clearly we can see Beachcomber coming through, the logo coming through, and a family of hotels which sends across a much stronger image. The same for uh, our five and four star properties. The Royal Palm, you will see that for our hotels which uh, are present overseas, we've chosen to have Beachcomber in the forefront. These hotels today don't necessarily have the same uh, strong name, have not been around for that long, and uh, we believe that it is uh, overseas more important for us to put the Beachcomber name in front. So you will see Beachcomber Seychelles, Beachcomber French Riviera, which is our latest franchise agreement in Sofia Antipolis, uh, and uh, ev every other a franchise agreement, new hotel, or management agreement which we will sign will have, overseas at least, Beachcomber in uh, the forefront of the name. And also added to that, we have put really the Beachcomber name everywhere. Okay, where we had a kids club which was called Bob Marlin, some of you will know that. It's now referred to as Kids Club Beachcomber. We've created a teens club Beachcomber. Our shops in the hotels have, gone, have become the Beachcomber holiday shop. Uh, we have also brought uh, the Beachcomber name into the Fondation Espoir development, the foundation of Beachcomber, which look after uh, you know, the, the social uh, good that Beachcomber does locally. So really, uh, a, l a lot of, of the name going everywhere uh, into what we're calling uh, the daughter's brands of uh, the mother brand, which is Beachcomber itself. I'm not going to go uh, through this uh, motto, which is, uh, which is in French, uh, but some of you who understand French can read it, but we've also got an English version, which will be present on our websites. So, not only have we obviously changed what you've seen, the image, the color, and have we integrated the Beachcomber brand everywhere, uh, but as I've said from the very beginning, this is far more than a mere change in logo and color. This is uh, a, 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 new, a new business which we want to create, a new direction which we want to give to the group, a new vision, and uh, a, more, a more modern approach uh, to the way uh, we do business. And together with our consultants, we have looked, and with our team, more than 600 members of our team, both locally and overseas, have collaborated in going back to the basics of what makes the strength of Beachcomber. And what emerged quite strongly is the fact that it is each of us here, each of the 5,000 employees of Beachcomber, some of them with more than 40 years of experience. Beachcomber is by far the oldest hotel group in Mauritius, as I said, created in 1952. Some, are, are, some are, are of the people in, the, in, in this hall can clearly say, I am the one with the most experience in the hotel industry, and many of those employees, if not all of them, are in fact in the Beachcomber group. So we believe that our real strength of Beachcomber is not only being a Mauritian company, but has kept within its service, within its attitude of its staff, this Mauritian hospitality and the authenticity. Uh, but also we believe that all of that crafted over the last uh, more than 50 years, 60 years, almost 65 years in fact, uh, has become an art. And this is why we have called our employees the artisans of Beachcomber. And as artists have a lot of good in them, we believe that the beauty of the place, the beauty of our hotels, inspire the heart of each of the artisans of our 5,000 member team. So you will see a lot of this art, artisan being used everywhere with a unique positioning being beautiful sites, which I think is obvious, the most beautiful beaches of Mauritius, but more importantly, a fantastic team, each of them being an artisan with a specific interaction with our guests. 
the art of beautiful, beautiful art artisans. You will see that being played again and again, you know, in all our adverts, which you see now. Our adverts will all the time integrate not only the beauty of the place, but also the beauty of the heart. And each of our adverts will integrate uh, an interaction between the guest and our employees, as you can see uh, in front of this magnific magnificent tree uh, at the Trobis Hotel with one of our employees taking pictures of a couple enjoying their time uh, at the Trobis. We are changing today, the time I speak, on, on Thursday uh, the 15th. Uh, all our websites with the new logo and with the new story. Uh, we are changing, as we speak, all the signage, you know, in the various hotels here, uh, the Trobis with the new logo. We also changing in the receptions of all of our hotels and indicating this wave that you will see behind receptions for all of you visiting us very soon with, uh, again, the logo, the b no uh, being present and, again, the signage everywhere. Um, you will, I'm not going to go through each uh, of these elements one by one, but you will see uh, that the beachcomber and the Benotil is really uh, getting everywhere inside our hotels and all that is happening as from tonight, as from tomorrow. The magazine Evasion, I think uh, all of them have uh, read Evasion before, either where you are overseas or uh, whilst visiting our hotels in Mauritius. You know, Evasion is a fantastic magazine, but I, when I joined the group about a year ago, I felt, uh, I felt that it was important to bring again Beachcomber closer to the hearts of those that read this magazine. So we're changing the name of Evasion, which is going to become Beachcomber magazine. We're going to have uh, booklets for each uh, of our hotels, with each uh, of the hotels being with their specific color. The brand book, uh, which a lot of you will be receiving soon, uh, encompasses our motto and uh, gives the feel for what our new image uh, and brand positioning are going to stand for. Again, uh, the various amenities within the bathrooms will integrate uh, the new logo as from tomorrow. Stirrers, you know, for cocktails and everything else that you see here. No need for me to go through each of them. As you can see, you know, it goes across, you know, everything, uh, the spa, which is now becoming the art of wellness. Again, uh, the word art being used, and uh, elsewhere you will see the word B for beautiful, etc. Sports Beachcomber. As I said earlier, the Kids Club, which was previously called Bob Marlin, becomes now the Kids Club Beachcomber. There's a Teens Club, which we are creating. A number of products in the shops uh, that you all use when you visit our hotels. Uh, the new design of the shops, of the Beachcomber boutiques inside. Uh, our various hotels will progressively uh, be uh, refurbished and revamped like this one uh, being done at present at Le Victoria opening during the course of October. Many of you have bought uh, shirts, linen shirts, the Tropical Elegance. Again, similarly to the Evasion magazine, uh, we believe it is important again to bring Beachcomber you know, within the names of uh, this brand of um, of clothing. So why Tropical Elegance? Uh, we're changing that to become Beachcomber Elegance, which I think is a fantastic way, uh, you know, to uh, transmit, you know, the name Beachcomber elsewhere, uh, you know, when people wear this apparel everywhere. Obviously, an art can't exist without its artisans. This is what, uh, you know, I've been saying again and again for years. Beachcomber really has got a foundation which relies on its artisans. Uh, we have uh, this architecture of the brand which has been designed, but clearly the artisans are the ones that is, are going to make this happen. And I just want you to show, to show you, I was just want to show you very quickly uh, a small theme uh, paying tribute to these artisans. Thank you. <laughs> 